Hi, it's uh, Kiffin Low Bates here, and today a little piece about tainted bitcoins. So, Phil Millo posted an entertaining Halloween video a couple of days ago where he talked about how your Bitcoin wallet could get tainted. And what is meant by that is that if you receive some Bitcoins, then it is possible for anybody to look over the blockchain history of transactions and track them from their original generation in a mining reward through various transactions till when they end up with you. And the problem that you might face is that at some point those coins may have been in the hands of a criminal or uh, an undesirable and uh, you may therefore end up not being able to spend them because cryptocurrency exchanges may look at that and say these coins came from Silk Road we can't accept them or these coins were marked as being stolen during the Mount Gox fiasco and uh, therefore we won't accept them now Phil made a mistake about a wallet getting tainted because a wallet is just a collection of Bitcoin addresses that you control so if one of those addresses has received some tainted coins the rest of the addresses will still be fine and you can effectively clean your wallet by removing that particular address from the list of addresses that you are going to control with that wallet so wallet is just an abstract concept meaning this collection of controllable Bitcoin addresses and uh, therefore it can't get tainted um, I did think of one amusing thing that could happen with tainted coins. If you're somebody who had, say, 50 tainted bitcoins, you could go and dust the wallets, or not the wallets, rather the addresses of various bitcoin exchanges, and now they would be tainted too. And as far as I know, it's not possible to reject a bitcoin transaction. So if somebody sends you some bitcoins and that goes into a block and goes onto the blockchain, then uh, they're in your possession and uh, there's not much you can do about it other than spend them on so they become a bit of a hot potato I suppose. Anyway I think there's a lot of interesting stuff to be mined in this concept of being able to see what has happened historically in transactions and what ramifications and impacts it can have and I think I'll address some of those in future videos. Bye for now.